to the I just thought I would quickly um, highlight some software tools that you're going to find very useful as you're coming up with these artifacts. Uh, caveat here, this is by no means comprehensive. Um, what I've done is listed tools that I've worked with personally, uh, tools that I know are easy to access with the exception of one, right, Microsoft Project. All of these tools can be downloaded and used for free. Uh, so first up is, and I highly recommend that you probably start off with Project Libre, right? Very, very nice tool. Um, I've, I've been using it for well over a decade now, and it's, it's actually evolved over time. It's, it's marketed as being the open source alternative to Microsoft Project, right? Um, so if you're interested in finding out more, and I do encourage you to do this, more about Project Libre, just go to this link. Um, you should be able to find uh, a, downloads, a downloads link somewhere there. So you can already download it um, and then install it and start playing around with it. A key thing to note about Project Libre here is that uh, it has, it has uh, they, they make use of two different models. So the community edition is available for free. So you download it and then you install it on your, uh, on your local machine, your desktop or laptop. Uh, but the cloud uh, cloud-based version is still work in progress. Um, if you're curious like me, you probably want to sign up so that uh, once they start <coughs> running their beta testing, uh, then you get notification and you can already play around with this. So, but the cloud-based version would be something that's akin to Google Docs, for instance. So instead of um, installing a local instance of Project Libre, you'd access it in the cloud, similar to the way we access Google Docs or Google Sheets and Google Slides. Um, if you're curious to learn more about how Project Libre uh, looks like, right? I'll just go to Project Libre here. Very basic interface. Um, this is the sort of interface that you work with and uh, has a number of nifty features. I'll probably just quickly load, um, load an existing sample project that I have here. To, a uh, very basic user interface that allows you access to things like uh, gun chat, right? So you can use it to create a gun chat. Um, you can let me just zoom out so that it's much clearer here. You can use this to create uh, a work breakdown structure, right? And we'll discuss work breakdown structures just now. You can also use it to create um, an activity network, right? Uh, so very, very useful tool. Excellent tool, actually. I cannot uh, uh, recommend it. Um, recommend it more. In fact, if I was to choose between the different tools that I'm going to walk you through, I would highly recommend uh, Project Libre. Okay. Um, so another alternative would be um, Open Project, but unfortunately, for Open Project, um, the installation process is not uh, is not that easy. In an ideal case, this would need to be set up on a server platform and then you have multiple people accessing that instance. Um, we had initially um, come up with a plan to actually set up an instance on the list server, but that hasn't materialized in part because the server hardware that we use or the server that we use has been giving us problems. We don't have enough resources there. Um, again, uh, two more, well, there's, they make the people behind the software to have three different models. The community version is available for free. All you have to do is download it and then you install it on your own. The cloud-based version, of course, uh, sadly requires that you pay a monthly subscription fee of about four, uh, four euros, and four euros, about almost five euros here. Um, and then the enterprise version here, which is slightly more expensive, would be more applicable to, I guess, software development firms out there. Um, if you feel like uh, if you feel adventurous, I would highly encourage that you download the community edition and attempt to install it. Then the installation process shouldn't be that hard. Um, it's just that you need uh, prerequisite components, software components for this to be able to work. It's web-based, so you need to install um, a web server, for instance. And I think this thing is implemented in, is it uh, PHP? I wanted to check, but it's fine. I'm not sure what, what programming language is used to implement this, but so you need, if it's PHP, then you need a PHP interpreter, right? I'm curious here, let me just quickly find out. Uh, 
or rather is it a programming language uh, oh there we go oh so it's it's written in uh, ruby and rails so you need a rails application several years for you to be able to do that sadly uh wow i forgot it's written in ruby and rails forget about angular angular is just a javascript framework okay um there we go so you have to go through a painful process of uh installing ruby gems good luck with that if you have plans of uh, playing around with open project. But in the event that you want to gain a sense of how the interface looks like, um, I do have access to an open project uh, instance at my alma mater. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in here, right? Uh, so that people have a sense of um, how the interface looks like. So very simple interface, right? Landing page here, you log in. Um, and once once you sign in, you are presented with this sort of interface. So using this interface, I have access to projects that um, I would have been a part of, right? And to give you an idea of a sample project here, I will, I guess I'll just go to my personal uh, PhD project to see if I can scroll through different components. And so you notice that I have access to uh, things like work packages associated with this project, right? And hopefully I should be able to see a list of the different work packages, yeah? Um, I can also navigate to um, a timeline, yeah? There we go. So this is a multi-year timeline. I think uh, this project spanned, not I think actually, it spanned uh, a little over five, maybe six years. So it was undertaken between 2013 all the way up to 2000 and 2018 right all right so hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, how um, or what sort of interface um, is associated with open project very useful too um, uh, in the past I didn't include this but I also played open go was that open go project uh, Right, open, I, I think we, I played, we, well, at my alma mater we used, uh, is it open goo, it should be open goo as well. Uh, it should be open goo, I think. I've forgotten the name of the software, but it should be open goo. They've rebranded to Fane, I guess. Yeah, yet another okay tool, I guess. Um, if you, I, I didn't know they changed names. If you are feeling adventurous, I would encourage you to look into I guess they are calling themselves Feng now, but they used to be called uh, Open Goo, right? Open Goo here. Um, very useful project management tool as well. Okay, so besides besides uh, Open Project and uh, Feng, I guess um, something else I'd recommend you look into is uh, Lucy Charts, and and the reason I'm recommending Lucy Charts is because it's a uh, it's a cloud-based platform, and and you wouldn't if if you actually do decide to use um, Lucy Charts, you'd be able to use it to develop the other artifacts that we're going to discuss once we look at the unified modeling language at a later stage, right? So um, it has an option for you to to actually produce artifacts such as uh, use case diagrams, for instance, and uh, class diagrams and activity charts, right? Um, but the, the thing that I wanted to draw attention to is that um, using our educational accounts, aka our user assigned email accounts, you actually uh, have access to what they call a free tier, right? Uh, in case you're interested in how the interface looks like, I will quickly navigate to uh, Lucy Charts if I can find it, which is here. So this is the interface, and you notice that uh, if I, let me see if I can go to the homepage of the dashboard. This is my dashboard here, but if I go under templates, right? I don't know if you can see this, but if I go under templates, I have access to different types of diagrams that I could uh, create. And among them, are, um, uh, I guess, diagrams associated with timeline, uh, with planning, right? So I can create timelines, right? Gantt charts. Um, I can, hopefully, I think there should be a provision to create work breakdown structures here as well. Uh, but I cannot highly, I, I cannot recommend uh, Lucid charts enough, just like I am recommended, uh, recommending Project Libre, right? 
uh, I do encourage you to go to lucychurch.com using your Unza signed email accounts and you can already start playing around with this this platform very useful the the other inter- the, the other cool thing I like about um, Lucy charts is that there's a there is a uh, let me just go to there's there's actually a plugin for Google Google Docs right so you can actually pull you can easily pull um, diagrams that you'd have created using Lucid charts from within Google Docs right think about this for a second once you start writing your proposal as you are collaborating with your colleagues one of the tools that you're going to use is perhaps um, google docs right um so integrating these charts is as easy as just installing uh oh my god i thought i had maybe i don't maybe the add-on is here actually if i go to google slides yeah there you go in google slides uh so for instance if i wanted to integrate i'll go right at the end and uh, let me see if I can add a new slide here. So if I wanted to add a chart from Lucy Charts, right? A, a chart using Lucy Charts, all I'd have to do is install the add-on called Lucy Charts Diagrams, and then using this add-on, I get to uh, insert different diagrams here. It's as easy as that. Um, and all I have to do is use this um, panel on my right to pick the appropriate diagram. It's taking a bit of time because um, it's making use of the Lucy Chart API essentially. Uh, so what I'll be putting here is um, diagrams that I would have created using Lucy Charts. Observe if I said I want to create uh, an example. Wow. Uh, let's say gun chart, and then this is going to be an example here. Um, if if I want to create a gun chart, I want to integrate it integrate it within Google Slides. Uh, hmm, wondering why this is... Okay, so it's because my the free tier account is limited to three documents and I probably have more than three documents. Uh, I wonder if... Anyway, but the bottom line is uh, using... Um, so using, using this plugin, you can easily pull you can easily pull uh, diagrams from Lucy Charts and integrate them into Google Slides or Google Docs, right? So it's as easy as that. Very useful feature. If I were you, I would uh, really seriously look into this, right? It makes life a lot easier. And then you have access to your diagram like so. All right. Uh, so besides Lucy Charts, um, the final recommendation, it's not really a recommendation, really. I wouldn't recommend this thing to anyone, right? Um, and I'm, the, the reason I wouldn't recommend this is because you need money to gain access to the platform itself. Uh, but perhaps the, one of the reasons you might want to invest time learning how to use Microsoft Project is because a number of organizations out there would tend to use um, uh, Microsoft Project for project management, right? So if you ever land yourself a job um, and you are required to do any sort of project management task, it's highly likely that one of the case tools you're going to be using that organization is Microsoft Project. But I wouldn't recommend this thing. I mean, uh, if you go to, uh, I hope I have Microsoft Project. I mean, uh, would you really, would you really be willing to pay $10 per month just so you can use Microsoft Project? Would you? It's a question I'm asking, right? Um, I don't think so, and I'll answer on your behalf because obviously you're not around to respond, but I don't think so. Why? What this means is that you need, uh, in case people are wondering here, the current exchange rate is at, uh, let me just quickly check my app here, but um, the current exchange rate is, uh, so one US dollar is equal to 18, uh, 18 Quacha 68 in Gwe. So what you would need is for you to be able to use um, Microsoft Project in the cloud, you'd need to pay 186 Quacha every month. Right? So good luck with that anyway. Okay, um, hopefully that uh, that rundown of the different case tools is, is helpful, right?